Blue Rock Gallery welcomes you. Uh, I'm Steve Coffey and this is Prairie Pictures. They're pictures and it's prairies. I'm a songwriter but you wouldn't know it from my titles. Very simple and edited to say the least. If I have a pole piece, it'll be poles. I was really interested in drawing as a kid as I think every kid is, and I just continued to pursue it. Metal sculpture was a big thing after I left university. Later on, I found that I wasn't getting to say what I really wanted to say. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna teach myself to paint. Capturing light, you know, I became more and more fascinated. I love color, I love paint. What it really is, is depicting my surroundings and, and bringing my emotion into the work. And I couldn't do that with metal. I could do it with paint. Paint became just more and more important to me as, as time moved on. Music I've always treated as a, as a very pure form of expression for myself. And it's very much like a painting. Same expression, just different tools is the way I describe it. Really, it's a palette. It's, I describe music the way I describe painting. The lyrical, it's, you know, all these different things. It's the same world. You see a painting, I can take that painting and say to you, you know, which songs probably came around at that time. So there's this, this, this constant back and forth kind of expression that's happening. And it's so one and the same for me that I don't separate the two ever, really. And I'll go into the studio, I'll sketch something out fairly quickly, and whatever inspires me, it's very intuitive. Sometimes I mix right directly on the canvas to start uh, a painting. And let it take me quite often to where it needs to go. It's my other language. It's very important in that it gives me an outlet. I try not to let uh, my mind dictate too much. To me, it needs to be the eyes and out the hand and the, and the brush and on the canvas. I know when I'm, when I'm in the groove, when I've left the room, when I'm not in the studio anymore and I'm, and I'm somewhere else involved in this, this space that I'm trying to create. Last year, I started getting into meditation and I realized when I'm in the studio, it really is truly a form of meditation. It's mindfulness. There's no future and there's no past. It's right in that moment. And that moment is so powerful. It's amazing. It's incredible. I'm inspired by uh, the human elements within this vast landscape. I think that can describe my work in many ways because when you look at my work, I'll, I'll quite often have that. So there's an archival element to it for me. I'm really just trying to capture the surroundings and uh, who we are, where we are, kind of thing. The art is problem solving, right? And so whether it's an emotional problem or whatever it is that you're dealing with, however you're feeling, I guess it's, it's, going, to, uh, it's going to come out in the work. To me, that would be the honesty of, and the sincerity of the work. The power, to me, of, of any canvas is in the moment of its creation. When it's done, it's like, whew, you know. It's like music too. The performance in that moment is, is, is really where it's at. So to me, um, if I have a lot of work in the studio, I need to get it out of there. It has to, it has to just find a home so that I can move on. It's the only way you know, to, to keep moving forward. I really want the, the viewer to feel some emotion, their own interpretation that people would be connected to it that, that much to want to put it in their home. That's very satisfying, that's a, very exciting. Everybody, I don't care who it is, has, has some form of creativity in them. I'm a firm believer that we're all very creative people. I think that the evidence is children. Uh, children are the ones that really show us that, you know what, we're all creative people. It's so important for us. People have all of these hang-ups and problems in their lives and all that, and it could be it could be that, hey, maybe just express it, you know, get it out. My wish is that, uh, is that we somehow get that back into our school system, especially so the kids go, wow, you know, art is important. We're here right now, so, you know, we might as well use the time that we have and, and have some fun with it. I think that that's a lot of what creativity is too, right? It's just a great time. It's fun, it's a blast. It's so incredibly, powerfully rewarding. Blue Rock Gallery is gorgeous and it's certainly a, a nice destination. As far as the show, it's all new paintings from the last year and pretty excited about the, the, the new body work. So come out to the Blue Rock Gallery and Black Diamond and 
check it out.